Just about 24 hours after his arrival by life flight helicopter, a Freestone County man goes berserk again. Good evening and thanks for joining us for 25 News at 10. I'm Dennis Turner. Waco police confirm a ruckus at a hospital last night brought officers running to the intensive care unit to help. Police arrived at the hospital to find 64-year-old Dexter Glenn Henderson armed with a syringe trashing his room in intensive care. A bit of a kind of standoff resulted while officers considered their options. Eventually, police used pepper spray and what they call a less lethal impact round on Henderson, who abandoned his aggressive behavior and complied with officers' demands. Police say they took the man into custody and may file new charges against Henderson. New because, as we told you Thursday, a Teague police officer shot a man named Henderson after he caused a disturbance at Teague City Hall and attacked the police officer right in front of several witnesses. He had already assaulted the police officer in town. Okay. Uh, and so um, he's, he's, I don't think he was the local person that's lived here very long or in, that anyone knows. Henderson's family tells 25 News they come from the Dallas area. Waco police confirm Henderson as the same man shot in the Teague incident. What hospital took the brunt of Mr. Henderson's latest display of bad behavior? Waco police don't say, but Teague City leaders tell us a medical helicopter flew the man from Teague to a nearby trauma center. Baylor Scott and White Hillcrest has the only level two trauma center around. Add the involvement of Waco police, and it seems likely that's where this latest display of ill temper took place. Waco officers say they took Henderson into custody and apparently removed him from the hospital. A Baylor Scott and White Hillcrest spokesperson told 25 News Saturday they had no information on Henderson. Doctors had Henderson under treatment for the gunshot wound, which witnesses told me hit Henderson in the leg.